Here's a fun nature showdown eggs versus live birth. When it comes to lizards, both strategies exist, and each is a genius solution to the same problem, making more tiny lizards that survive. Most lizards are egg layers, oviparous. After mating, a female will scout for a protected spot, a shallow hole she scrapes out, a crack in a wall. She'll lay a clutch, sometimes just a few, sometimes 20 or more, then cover them and bounce. No babysitting, no snack runs. From here on, the eggs rely on the environment for incubation, warmth from the sun, heat stored in the ground, the right level of humidity, and that environmental thermostat matters. Temperature and moisture can influence when the eggs hatch, how big the hatchlings are, and even their odds of survival. Too cold or too dry and development slows or fails. Just right, and a bunch of tiny fully independent lizards punch out of their shells and head into the world like mini action figures. If you've ever seen a lizard lay eggs, it's surprisingly methodical. She picks the spot, deposits the clutch, then carefully covers the eggs to hide the scent and stabilize the microclimate. It's a one-time investment with a big evolutionary payoff low effort now and let the sun do the work. But not all lizards play the egg game. Some are viviparous, live bearers, especially those living in harsh or cold environments where external incubation would be risky. In these species, the embryos develop inside the mother. They're nourished either by a yolk, like a portable lunchbox, or through a specialized placenta that delivers nutrients and oxygen straight from mom. When development's done, the young are born alive, miniature versions of the adults, already independent. No nest, no waiting on the weather. It's like mom is the incubator, thermostat, and life support system all in one. That control helps in extreme climates where a cold snap could wreck an egg clutch. One cool example is the common lizard, Zootoka vivipara. Some populations give birth to live young, while others lay eggs. Same species, different strategies, adapted to local conditions. That flexibility is wild and shows how evolution tunes reproduction to the environment. So which strategy wins? Eggs or live birth? The answer is, it depends. Eggs are efficient and scalable when the environment can safely babysit. Live birth shines when mom needs to protect development from the elements. Either way, the goal is the same, create tough tiny lizards ready to hustle from day one. Next time you spot a lizard sunning on a wall, remember, there's an entire life strategy hiding behind that little head bob. Eggs, live birth, one mission, survive and thrive.